today we're going to be proving the, that parallel lines have the same slope and that perpendicular lines are the negative reciprocal. For instance, we, we, we'll prove this being that, we'll, that we know that y equals mx plus b, and if both of those have the same m, then they're going to be parallel. And whereas perpendicular lines, we know that if, for instance, if I have a line here that has a slope of, uh, let's make this a little bit steeper, Let's make this a slope of about like this, about it, which is a two to one. In other words, a rise of two, rise, over one, run, okay? Now, for the line to be perpendicular to that, we have know from algebra that that's going to end up being one over two, a negative one over two, which would be down this way. So if I multiplied these two together, what would I get? I'd end up getting a negative one. Well, what we're going to do is prove these situations through geometry. First, the theorem of two straight lines. If two straight lines are parallel, then their slopes are equal. And what I have given here is that we have the slope of FG. Here's the FG, which is rise, uh, which is M, or right, M1, and the slope of JK is M2. And we're saying that these right here are equal. And what we're going to try to prove that these lines are parallel. And that L, excuse me, L and M, L and H are right angles. And that these two triangles, of course, are right triangles. So we're going to try to prove that this line, FG, is parallel to JK. And so I'm going to draw a transversal here of F, L, all the way across here. So, if we go back down here, over here to our, our given, our rest the restatement of the given, and the next we know that we mentioned up here that FG was the slope, so I'm looking for the slope of here, so the slope of M1 is going to equal to the rise GH, as you indicate here, over the run of uh, HF. Likewise, on this, the rise of the, uh, the slope of JK is going to be the rise of KL over LJ, okay? And that's the definition of slopes. And then let me slide this up just a little bit. And we know by swapping the denominators, we said hey, we already know up here that M1 equals to M2, or as we restated back over here, M1 equals E2. Therefore, these two right here are equal to each other, and if I swap these the denominators, then it's going to become GH, GH to KL is going to be the same thing, the, the same ratio as G uh, is HF to uh, J or LJ. Okay, and that's just plain that's a substitution on that. We know that L excuse me, uh, L and H are, are perpendicular, are congruent angles, because all perpendicular uh, angles are congruent. And from that, based on the fact that we have the size now are proportional, and we have a common angles here, both being uh, perpendicular or, and congruent, therefore we know that these triangles are similar. So the triangle of FHG and G and JLK are similarity by side angle side. From that, because the corresponding angles, we know that angle F and angle J are congruent because they're corresponding angles of similar triangles. And from that, we know, because they are corresponding angles, we know that these two lines, therefore, are parallel. So we have just proven that aspect of it. Now, let's go next to the perpendicular situation. In this case right here, we're stating that two straight lines are perpendicular, then the product of their slopes is a negative one. As I mentioned earlier, if I have a run of two over, uh, excuse me, a rise over a run of one, and I do I draw a line perpendicular to that, then that's going to be that, and so you multiply those together, you end up with a minus, a minus one. So let's go about proving this. So what we have given is AC, 
The slope of AC is M1, the slope of CE is M2, and that we know that this line AC is perpendicular to CE, and there's the right angle right there, okay? So that's perpendicular. So we're going to be proving that the slopes M1 times M2 is going to end up being a negative 1. And let's go about how we do that. First is repeat the, the given. And again, we're talking about the uh, M1 being the rise over run. So that's going to be a negative. You notice this is downhill. So this is A to B, which is a negative AB, over BC, which is the run. Okay, And that the M2 is DE, which is a rise over the run of CD. All right, that's the definition of a slope. We know that these angles of B, C, and D are all congruent because all perpendicular angles are, uh, are congruent from that. And we also know that angle 1, which is here, and angle 2 is going to equal to 90 degrees because we know that this line right here is, 100, is 180, and this is 90, so that's going to be... That, so that's going to be those as complementary angles. We likewise, we know that the angle 1 and 2, if you add angle 1 to A and angle 2 to E, they both are going to end up being 90 degrees because we know these two right here are 90 degrees. And that's because they're all complementary angles. From that, now through substitution, as you can see, we can find out, because of the way these angles are set here and all, based on all of this, and from this, by substitution, we can find that angle 1, angle 1 right here, is congruent to angle E up here, and angle 2 is congruent to angle A up here, and that's done by substitution. From that, we know now that these triangles, A, B, C, and C, D, E, are similar because of angle, 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 and we just showed those all three of those angles from up here. From that, because of that, we know the proportionality, based upon the similar triangles, that AB to BC is the, should be the same as CD to DE, okay? So that's because of the, from, from that. And then from there, we know that if we, if I, uh, by substitution, put it in here, I have back over here, and doing by the substitution over here, I can find out that I have this right here, which is the same as this, all right? But that's a negative, all right? So CD over DE times DE, which is this slope right here, uh, times that. And, of course, you multiply those two together. Those cancel out, cancel out. So you get 1 over 1, and you have a negative. So the answer is 1, negative 1, which we just proved there through substitution and 